Hi, it's Sylvan. Today I'm going to show you how to use the sweep function in Autodesk Inventor. Here I'm using the Autodesk Inventor 2021. So maybe if you have the older or the newer software version, you might see the UI is kind of different, but the function is basically the same. So don't worry. As always, let's create a new part by click the drop down menu here and click part. The basic of sweep function is actually kind of the same with the extrude, whereas the extrude take the profile to make a feature by taking a straight line from the sketch origin, and sweep take profiles and make a feature by sweeping it following a path. From that, you know that the sweep function need two things, which are a profile and a path. The use of sweep function as is the example of creating a pipe, wire, etc. Let's go ahead by making the path first. Press S button on your keyboard and drop the sketch on XY plane here. Let's just make a spline here. Click finish sketch. The next thing to do is creating a profile on the end of this path, but you have to make a work plane as a sketch plane. So click plane, click the endpoint of this path, and then click the path. So your plane gonna be perfectly normal to your path. So then we're gonna make a sketch on this plane, and I suggest you to project the end of the path to make a origin point of your sketch that's going to help you to indicate the center of your sketch let's say we want to make a tube by sweeping this circle along this path so click the circle snap it to the projected point here and make sure that your circle is not too big so when you're sweeping along this path it's not going to colliding to its own body and fail Let's just try to make it 3 millimeters and then click finish sketch. Click sweep here, or you can just press Ctrl, Save, and S button on your keyboard. As you know, because we only have the two things on the drawing area, the sweep menu will automatically select the circle as the profile and the spline as the path. And then click OK. Now we have a tuple like body here let's go back to the sweep menu and see what option we got here so we have the behavior option there are three options that we can choose here the follow path and then fix and the last one is guide as you can see here that the follow path orientation gave us two more options which are tapper and twist Tapper is being used when you want your sweep have elevation or depression angle. Like you can see here, if you fill this box with positive 2, it's going to increase the size of the circle in the end of the sweeping path and vice versa. Then we have twist here and it's going to twist the profile along the path. Let's try to make a kind of groove here. Go back to the sweep menu again, then try to twist this profile 180 degree. So fill this twist box with 180. And as you can see here, the profile is being twisted and the groove and here in 180 degree from the starting point. Let's try again with 360 degree and you can see here that the profile is being twisted 360 degree along the path. Click OK and here is the result. Go back to the sweep menu and the next option is fix. Let's just click this option and see what's gonna happen. There is nothing going on here because fix option make your profile keep its angle along the path and in this area it is colliding with its own body. So let's make a little adjustment here. Let's just move some point a bit and execute the sweep menu again and click fix option 
and you can see that the circle give its position and make this kind of a flat effect. And the last behavior option is guide. This option is slightly different from the previous two options. We need additional line or surface as the guide. It is a little bit complex, so I'm going to talk about that in another video. So that's it. Give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.